This is cool stuff as well. It's Wednesday, of course, so we're excited to bring you another creature feature, this one that we shot on location. And just like last week, we took a look at some of the animals that you can only find locally at the Idaho Aquarium. Pretty cool place. So I was at the water's edge as we learned about one of the most popular sites that they have to offer. Take a look. creature feature where we actually get to take you out from your home and into the Idaho Aquarium or I guess the wild I'd yeah. say we're joined with Nathan Hall who's a marine biologist at the Idaho Aquarium which means that these guys are literally in our backyard so tell me what we're looking at today Nathan so what you're looking at is we have um, southern Atlantic stingrays we've got California bat rays we have a black tip reef shark We've got a bonnet head shark, and we have a smooth hound shark, as well as other reef fish in this exhibit. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I am a little afraid. I mean, you said shark, you said shark, you said yeah. stingray. Yeah. I mean, this is like, this is big, big stuff. Are, yeah. are we afraid of these guys? Um, these guys are basically harmless, unless you stick your fingers in their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> That's with any kind of creature, probably yeah. just don't stick your finger in their mouth. So explain what this guy is. I mean, he looks like a bat in the water. Right, so he's basically what's known as a bat ray. So he's got wings, um, large wings on his side. So he uses them to propel himself through the water and move himself forward. Okay, and then the sharks, these are all creatures that you can actually come in and feed? Yeah, and you can touch them too. And what do they eat? Um, they basically eat small fish, and so I've got some here, and would you like to feed them today? Absolutely, right. I, I guess so. I thought you were going to say yeah. small children. I got really <laughs> terrified there. Small fish we can do. So as you look at the, sh as you look at the rays, they basically have their mouth on underneath or on the bottom okay. part. And so as they come up against the glass, you'll see their mouth on the bottom. And so when we hold the fish, we basically hold it like this, but we got to basically put a little bit of blood in the water to get them a little excited. Okay. <laughs> and so you see the mouth right on the bottom there? Yeah, yeah. And there it oh. goes. <laughs> do then, they bite? Nope, no bites. They do have teeth, but they're flat teeth for crushing um, small invertebrates like crabs, crustaceans, shrimp, um, and small snails. Well, and, and like you were explaining before, because I, I was terrified of these creatures out in the wild because yeah. of their stingers. Yeah. So what what are some common misconceptions or what do people think? They're, they're very scary. Yeah, some people think that stingrays are going to come up and attack them and put their stingers into them and um, be really aggressive, but they're not like that at all. Um, the stingers and barbs are mostly for defensive purposes in order to protect themselves from being eaten or um, consumed by other large predators. Well, and it clearly is a really cool thing that we have this facility right yeah. here in Idaho. Where do these guys come from? You you can't find these in Lucky Peak. <laughs> um, we get some of them from Southern California. Um, some of them came from the East Coast um, in Florida. So our Atlantic stingrays um, came from Florida and our bat rays came from Southern California. And even our sharks came from Indonesia. So we have a whole variety of different places. Right. Absolutely, and you, you heard it here, right here from Nathan Hall, who is a marine biologist, so you would know. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing me your, your buddies here. Not as scary as you might think, and I'm actually going to try to feed one and hope I don't lose my fingers, which you promise I won't. No, you won't. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. If, they drop, if you drop it, they probably won't eat it. So if you drop it, almost like feeding a gumball machine. So got you in I the face it. a couple times, right? Yes. Splashing you around up against yes. the glass and everything. It was so much fun. And I told you before that, terrified of stingrays. I actually took surfing when mm -hmm. I was at San Diego State as my PE credit. And went in the water three times, saw a stingray, and was like, never again. But Nathan says that these stingrays actually have their stingers clipped. He physically gets in okay. the tank with them and clips their stingers because they can grow back there like a fingernail. Well, so he says, yeah, he says he does it pretty often there. Yes, as well, exactly. Right? So, so they're totally yeah, safe Yeah, you're there. fine. If and, <laughs> and you're fine if you get in the ocean too because you just have to do the stingray shuffle. You know, when you shuffle your feet in so the sand. So they know you're there. So they know 
you're coming. They don't and get then, scared. Yeah, and then they won't. They'll they'll run away from yeah, you. Yeah, really cool segment. Awesome. Sharks and stingrays all in one place. So you can go check those out at the Idaho Aquarium.